Dear friends, welcome to my channel Ranger Devices. As I, I was discussing the question paper of environmental science, optional subject of APSC Forest Ranger examination. Till my last episode, I have discussed till question number 60. So let's begin this today's episode, episode, episode number 4. So the question number 61 Acid mine drainage is a problem associated with st strip mining, surface mining, or query deep sur underground, underground mining subsurface mining the answer is deep underground mining question number 62 in which of the following practices occupational health hazard is the highest surface mining strip mining open pit mining underground mining the answer is underground mining because in the underground mining the health hazard occupational health hazard is the most um, biggest problem it is the highest amount question number 63 which of which type of coal mining creates maximum environmental damage strip mining surface mining Subsurface mining, deep underground mining, it's strip mining. Ring of fire, question number 64. It, ring of fire refers to the volcanic belt around the Pacific Ocean, volcanic belt around Indian Ocean, earthquake belt around Indian Ocean, earthquake belt around the Atlantic Ocean. It is volcanic belt around <coughs> Pacific Ocean. Question number 65. What kind of deformation leads to the earth, earthquake? Plastic deformation, convergent deformation, elastic deformation, shear deformation. It is elastic deformation. Question number 66. Which of the following waves uh, cause most damage during an earthquake? Body waves, shear waves, compressional waves, surface waves. We all know that surface waves cause highest damage during an earthquake. Question number 67. Greenhouse gases absorb solar radiation, terrestrial radiation, short wave radiation, both short wave and long wave radiation. It, with the greenhouse gas always absorbs ter uh, terrestrial radiation, which is reflecting back to the <clears throat> atmosphere that is terrestrial radiation 68 which of the following is at least likely to be an effect of global warming increased frequency of hurricanes change of global pattern of precipitation decreased rate of photosynthesis of vegetation extinction of some species that have narrow and temperature of temperature requirement so it is the decrease of decreased rate of photosynthesis of vegetation Question number 69. Which of the following is known as total protected area? National Park, Bioreserve, Reserve Forest, Sanctuary. Actually, in, in India, as per Wildlife Protection Act, four, pro, pro, there are four types of four categories of protected areas. Those are Wildlife Sanctuary, National Park, Conservation Reserve, and Community Reserve. The, here, the question is the total protected area. It is the National Park. Why? We will discuss in some other, other, other day and other chapter. Desertification is assessed on the basis of the decrease of biodiversity, decrease of soil moisture, decrease of productivity, increase in the diurnal range of temperature, it is decrease of biodiversity. What is desertification? Is desertification is nothing but the process of becoming a desert or becoming a barren land from a very high uh, uh, vegetative land or high rich, rich floral uh, zone. Floral and biodiversity area due to the process of, you know, it is due to the process of degradation of the soil quality and the floral loss of flora and fauna. So, this is called desertification. So, which of the following plants are suitable for biomonitoring of sulfur dioxide? Cucumber and marigold, tobacco and bean, moss and lichen, tomato and orchid. The answer is tobacco and not tobacco, answer is moss and lichens because these moss and lichens are the indicator species of. Pollution as increase of sulfur dioxide indicates the pollution, and uh, that has that is that is being you know uh, observed by a lot of moss and lichens. Loss or change of uh, characteristic characteristic or phenology of moss and lichens. So question number seventy two: Standard EDTA ethylene diamine tetracyclic acid solution is used to determine. Turbidity of water, hardness of water, dissolved oxygen of water, residual chlorine in water. It, EDTA solution is used to determine hardness of water. What is hardness of water? The hardness of water is measured by measuring the calcium and the magnesium presence in the water. Question number 73. Alkal alkalinity in water is expressed as milligrams per liter in terms equivalent to, to calcium carbonate, magnesium carbonate, sodium carbonate, calcium hydroxide. It is calcium carbonate. So we have seen that the outliers in a data set can produce problematic results. Rank the following measures in order of least affected by outliers to most affected by outliers. Mean median range, mean 
median mean range range median mean median range mean so this question is from statistics environmental statistics so answer is b <coughs> median mean range question number 75 what is the range of coefficient of determination of r r square a 0 to 1 b minus 1 to 1 c 0 to infinity d none of the above the answer is 0 to 1 question number 76 what is the statistics is used in the analysis of variance t statistics f statistics the other statistics none of the above it is f test f statistics question number 77 a technique of superimposing various thematic maps using digital data on a large number of uh, interrelated aspect is known as gis stm gps tstm let's see that what is gis gis is nothing but the superimposing image by image or the representation of an area in a in a map and it is the in a map but in, in digitally in the same thing the technique of superimposing various thematic maps also some layers superimposing the layers vector layers are there raster layers are there you no know? and to and so that we can uh, represent some information in a uh, special information in map that is called gif there are many softwares which is um, open source softwares are there like qgis even rgis software is there but rgis is not open source but uh, you can use this qgis software during your uh, for representing uh, representing special data so there are many uses of GIS then the, in, in our range level, in our division level, in our day-to-day -day life, we are using GIS actually. So actually the GIS is a very important subject. While we make, we make, we want to represent any special data in um, in map format, in mapping format, we are using it actually. And it's a very helpful tool to analyze, then so, uh, so or represent data, special data especially. Spatial means S-P-A-T-I-L, spatial don't uh, my pronounce uh, don't go to my pronunciation but uh, yeah see the thing so uh, b stm stm is the uh, full form is scanning tunneling microscope is nothing related to the uh, like uh, mapping gps is a device used for mapping or mapping uh, taking track or we all use the gps so that the GP, we cannot the you know the concept the concept well, the, the from the from taking the maps from taking the layers of GPS, we can, we can uh, you know represent the GPS readings in GIS. So, and that GPS reading is being used for uh, representing the spatial data. The concept is that only. So GPS is not the correct. GPS is just the device. <laughs> so TSTM, what is TSTM? The TSTM is a recent algorithm actually. It is recently proposed tone mapping operator of high dynamic range. Uh, but uh, that concept which is given is not telling me this TSTM uh, concept so that answer would be GIS uh, question number 78 where there are many known uh, shortcomings in EIA report EIA means environmental impact assessment very important chapter please read it please uh, go through this chapter very in the very detail the question is to come which is not a known known shortcomings the description of proposal doesn't cover and key features the, which is not a known it is a shortcoming b appropriate mitigating measures are not considered it is a shortcoming c insufficient or outdated prediction models are used it is a shortcoming uh, remaining the all relevant stakeholders concerns are incorporated this is the positive point in a, in an ea report so it is not a shortcoming so this is the correct answer question number 79 which of the following sequence of typical steps for a project specific ea process is correct a b c d so the correct method here i can see that impact identification then baseline study then impact evaluation and documented so the answer is a a t question number the international conference on human environment was held at montreal in 1988 rio de janeiro 1992 stockholm in 1972 kyoto in japan 1997 the answer is stockholm De stockholm 1972 where is stockholm declaration was there so dear friends uh, i was just i have discussed till question number 80 in my video from question number 61 to 80 so if you have any doubt if you want to know more more about some concepts which has been discussed which has been covered in this video please do let me know we'll uh, cover it up 
so in my uh, next videos um, so till then uh, do subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed and please write feedback whether you have uh, you, you have liked the videos or like uh, you, you are getting benefited from this video and please also indicate if any improvement is needed in my videos so till then uh, uh, i will meet in next next video uh, from question number 81 till then goodbye jai hind